Hello, my, my name's Mark. I'm back again for my second attempt at a YouTube video. Um, in, in this video, I'm going to making another death. I haven't been asked to make a, any desk for ages, but all of a sudden, I think with everyone working from home, everyone, what, everyone wants a desk. This one's going to be made out of reclaimed timber. Yeah, this is what I've been asked asked to make. Some they've got these pictures off the internet, so I just want well, just a basic. Basically, for a flat top with the up, little up, riser upstand for the, um, the screen and stuff. Um, I'm just just I'm just going to buy them with the metal legs, the same as in the picture, really. So it's, it's a pretty straightforward thing. I've got I picked this all this re reclaimed forward two up from a local wood reclaimed place. So I'll never sort through it really, and just put, pick out the, the best bits. It's only a metre long, so it shouldn't be. I've got plenty, so I should be able to get out some decent metre lens without too many nails. They want like a, they want a sort of an industrial look, but you know, they don't want it too sort of reclaimed look because obviously they want to use it as a usable desk. So if you've got too many holes and lumps and bumps, it's not really very practical for a desk. But you know, it's just the more the age of the timber and you know, like a few marks just to sort of give it a little bit of character so it doesn't just look something like, look, look like something you've just gone and bought out of Ikea or something. Okay, I'll start cleaning this up and come back. Okay, I've got all this cut down now to sort of, you know, sort of, by this, so slightly oversized in lengths. But the biggest problem, obviously, with the reclaimed stuff is all the nails. It's just trying to get rid of all the nails for, for, the, saw, for the saw blades and the plane of blades and that. When you get a nail like, if you see that one, sort of like this one here, it's fairly straightforward. You can just pull them out, but it's the, some of the, it's some of the more, um, it's some of the more the, more these type ones where they're, they're sort of in a little bit below the surface. They've been snapped, sort of snapped off. It's really hard to get them out without sort of completely destroying the wood. Sometimes, in that case, sometimes you're, you're better off just just put, punching them sort of, sort of so far a bit below the surface that you can just get rid of them. It's not really ideal. You don't really want to be. You don't really want them in there at all. But it's not much else you can do. You just got to get. You just want them out, out of the way. If you, otherwise, you sort of be completely destroying the wood, getting them out. Okay, I'll have a go at this. Okay, I've got them all de denailed. Well, hopefully I have anyway. So I'll stick them all through the plane now and see what they what they come up like. <laughs> okay, I've I've planed them all up. Well, so I haven't gone mad planing them up. I just just want to get the sort of the dirt off them really, still to keep you know some of the character. I don't want to sort of plane them so they try to make them look like new. You still want to be able to see their reclaimed bits of timber, but without obviously you've got to get reasonably smooth. And you know, so it can be sort of you know, no, nice to work on the desk. You don't want to be getting splinters when you're sitting there typing at your computer. So I'm going to glue them up now. But I think, yeah, I think I'm going to put some bit, bit biscuits in just to help sort of line them up for, for the glue up. If I just get two or three in each one, um, I'm going to have to be a bit careful because I don't because while I, these nail holes you can see, um, as I punch some of the nails in that I couldn't get out. I'm gonna to have to line them, make sure I, I put the biscuits in where there's no n nail hole. So I'll have to might probably just have to stick them sort of randomly where the two meet, just to try and so if I don't risk it risk getting a, a nail in with my biscuit cutter. I've just drawn a triangle on there as you can see because I've just sort of laid them out sort of as they look quite nice, just so that it's easier to, to, to when I put them back together so I'll know which order that they all go in. Okay, I'll, I'll come back before I glue it up. So I'm just about to start the, the glue up. As you can see, I've cut these bit biscuit slots so they're not like, you know, as you normally have them all equally spaced, you know, like three equally spaced. But obviously I've just av avoided these na nails, so they are what they are, but it's only really to, to just help them align them, get them flat. Okay, I'll start the, the glue up and then come back to you.
in the clamps now. I'll leave it overnight, see what it looks like in the morning. I've, I've got some, just some scrap bits of wood on the end, as you can see, just so I don't uh, damage the, of the edge of the wood. Okay, it's the next morning now, so it's, it's been, um, the glue's been drying all night. It's been a pretty cold night, actually, but it's, it seems to have got, gone off. Um, just about to take the clamps off. As you can see, when I put the clamps on last night, you, you always alternate the clamps. So you want some underneath and, and some above. Otherwise, if you just put them all, all above, it, and it tends to end up wanting to bow the wood. Because obviously all the pressure was fairly obvious, really all the pressure is going into the middle, so it tends to sort of make it belly. If you alternate the clamps, it's a lot, it tends to keep it a lot more stable. Okay, it's out of the clamps now. It's stayed in, in one bit, so that's a, always a good sign. Um, I'll, I'll scrape all that old g g glue off, maybe run the plane across it, hand plane a little bit, try and flatten it up a bit, and then stick the belt sander across it. You can just use like an old sort of wallpaper scraper thing. The wet bits of glue sort of has some of the big bits that oozed out haven't got it completely dry, so they just will just scrape off quite easy. It saves ruining the plane or clogging up the sander belts with it. Okay, I've given it a plane that I've planed it up mainly just to get any high spots so I can get it flat. So as I've gone across, I've put like the straight edge across, I sort of dragged it across just to look for any high spots or low spots so I can. Obviously, you need the low spots, you can put, put plain the high spots off to get the low spots out. That makes any sense. Confusing myself now. Yeah, so that's what I've done. So now I'm going to put the belt sander out. So now I stick the belt sander across it just to get it, well, try and smooth it off as much as possible, and then we can go, go down the grid sanding it up. Okay, I'll have a bit of a sand and come back to you. I've got it all sanded up. Had a bit, but a bit of a problem. I, this sander, the belt sander, packed up after about 30 seconds. I, I'm pretty sure the, the, the brushes have just gone. I pulled them out and they look absolutely shot. So I've ordered some new brushes, but I had to get it finished. So I spent hours with these two little sanders. Not hours, but quite long. About three times longer than I would have done with the belt sander. But I've got it all sanded up now. Well, just needs a final sand really. I've got the high level shelf, that high level shelf here, and there's the two upstands. So I'm just going to give it a final sand. Go down to about to 240 grit, I think, and then we'll oil it up. I've given it a final sand off and, and glued up the, 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 the little legs for the for, for the monitor support. So it's pretty much all ready for um to, to be waxed up now. It's ready for its first coat, coat of water wax now. As you can know if you can see in the video, I've left some nail holes, like a few little nail holes and marks. Just don't want to fill everything and rub it, you know, get it perfect because it'll just look neat. You know, I want it to still look like it is reclaimed but still be smooth and practical and usable. So there's a few things, nail holes in there. I'm just going to start giving it and this one, just start waxing on using the Osmo wax just to clear my matte finish. Just going to rag it off, let it dry, and then rag it off about in a couple of minutes' time. Okay, I'll come back when it's finished. It's had to, to a couple of coats of wax now. I'm gonna, it's still loose, so I'm just gonna screw, just gonna stick a couple of screws up from underneath just in case anyone wants to take it off any time. Um, legs have arrived, so get those screwed on as well, just temporary so that when I did deliver it, then I've got the holes in the right place and I'll just put it on quick and get out of there. So I gave it a coat of that Osmo, the clear Osmo finish, and I did a little test piece now, and it looks okay. But then when it dried, it just looked like 80s orange pine, and I think I'd completely over finished it. I sort of my OCD kicked in a bit, and I'd got rid of every mark dink. I know I left a few of those little nails, like I said, but it just looked way too perfect. So I've sanded it all back, roughed it up a little bit. You give it like a slight darker stain, which I've just finished now. So we'll see what that dirt, that dirt dries out like in the morning. So hopefully I can just put a coat of wax on there and I'll finally finish the thing. Been a bit of a nightmare really with the, with the sander breaking and 
and then having to resand it and do the whole thing again but hopefully it will turn out okay oh, I'm, I'm a lot happier with the colour now it, it, it was the, the, the client asked for an industrial look so I've, I've, I've made it look a lot more industrial I think I had it far too, too highly finished before but I think the legs don't look nice if you found any of this video remotely interesting or entertaining or well, but anything along them sort of lines, if you'd like to subscribe to watch another one, that would be, be great. But if you have any, any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.